Hey, welcome back to another video where we find ourselves uh, now 12 weeks, so three months post-operation. Uh, just really want to give an update now on where we are, or well, where I am uh, currently at the moment in terms of uh, healing, in terms of things I'm doing differently, uh, things I'm using um, to, to help the healing process a lot more. And has there been any changes really of such? Um, so yeah, so let's just start, start off with, uh, with the basics. Um, well, yeah, things have started, I've healed up quite nicely. Uh, and However, there is still, you know, if anyone's got to this point, there's still an element of, of discomfort around the, um, I suppose, underneath the incision. So not so much where uh, the, the, the cut was made, so where the foreskin was cut, it's more underneath the skin, sort of, well, for me, it's slightly down the shaft area where you can feel underneath, there's still a ten, tender side to things where, um, it's obviously taking a little bit longer to heal. Uh, I'm fully aware that this will take you know, up to about six months anyway, so there's it's no rush on those side of things, and it, it is all part of the healing process. Um, the only thing that, that does cause is, is some slight discomfort, um, I suppose, when uh, you're doing more exercise, or um, certainly when my knees jumped on me the other day, it was, uh, was pretty painful in terms of, um, it certainly was tender on that side of things, it did make sort of jump up right almost, but, um, not to say that is excruciating pain, it's just very dis there is a, a real discomfort. I'm still continuing to use the bio oil, which I mentioned in previous videos. Uh, this was recommended to me because it helps the scar line uh, sort of soften up and come a bit more uh, blended in, so you don't have that visible scar. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pleased to report that that is actually working really well. Um, the scar is actually starting to not be so prominent in terms of. Uh, a real ridge there, it's getting more softer and it's the skin starting to blend in together. So I, I've got to continue using that for, for about six months, so a couple of, about a month in now, so a little way to go. But please uh, report that things are starting to um, start to go right way on that side of things. Um, in terms of anything else which people have mentioned to me uh, in previous videos, uh, am I, um, have I been felt and been a bit embarrassed talking about this or have I felt a bit um, shy in terms of being in changing rooms and, and getting changed and people um, noticing? Um, no, not really, um, to be honest with you. I don't think, you know, personally, I don't think any guy in, in the changing room is staring at me in, in that direction uh, to, to have a good old look to say, oh, look, you, you, you've been circumcised. Uh, so, yeah, so in all in all, no, that's not really affected me in, in, in any shape or form, to be honest with you. Uh, in terms of talking about it, I've been pretty open with, with friends and family about what's happened. Um, and I've and some people have said to me, oh, um, it must have hurt or, um, you know, has it changed your life in any way? And I've been quite open with people. And I felt, I found certainly being open with people is a lot easier. And you actually do, um, I find when people, when you talk to people, other people seem to know other people have gone through the procedure as well. And you kind of get a nice sort of rounded, Sort of feedback on what their perspectives were so it's actually been a good thing and i think it's been talking about it has actually helped me certainly on the mental side of things and certainly helped me um feel more confident about the recovery um on, on on the way it is in terms of mental mentally um again this is something which i've mentioned in a previous video where um yeah there is a, a mental change in the way that you know you've had something you know, on my body, we've been like a certain way for 39 years and suddenly it's been changed. So things like masturbation and, and things like that is now different and it's just gonna take a bit of a learning curve really just to uh, get used to it. And it's almost like learning your body again. So it's, it's kind of got a little bit exciting that side of ways, uh, that side of things, but um, it's early days. So we're only three months in at the moment. So it's a long way to go uh, in terms of uh, the full healing and, and getting come to terms with with things which have happened. Um, so anybody who's actually watching this video, and I have uh, people who haven't commented before, and if you are in your early stages, so you are in your first few weeks, um, or even your first month, you just gotta bear with it, really. Um, I recall being back at that point, thinking it's the worst thing ever, and you know, I was, I was starting to hate, uh, hate things a lot, and I'm, I'm starting to think, this is awful, it's never gonna get better, my life's gonna be ruined. Um, but you, I think your body, you learn to forget about the pain. And certainly now, um, I thinking back through the uh, early videos and certainly early first few weeks, I, the pain of that was was not exactly pleasant. It was very uncomfortable, and certainly even the nocturnal nighttime erections were awful um, in terms of the sharp pains I was getting, and obviously the bleeding as well. But your body does 
you know, it does heal and it does just take time and you, you do start to forget the pain. Um, so looking back now, it probably wasn't as bad or I, I don't know, but it doesn't feel like it was as bad as maybe I thought it was. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure when you feel going through this right now, in your first few weeks, you're probably looking at me and saying, Haha, "No, you're lying at all. It, it was as bad as as what you probably are thinking it it, it was." Um, but yeah, so I just encourage people to, you know, just to, you know, get through it. Uh, I understand that it does get better and it will get better. Um, just take care of yourself. And oh, what else? The other thing someone kept asking me um, about washing. Um, I'm not sure really how to answer this one really because I've always washed, um, you know, uh, especially when uh, the circumcision was done, I was still washing but I was just using at that point just lukewarm water. Uh, they will advise you very early on not to get it too wet if you've had the, the glue and the stitch because you don't really want the glue to, to come off in the first few weeks, certainly the first three weeks because underneath that glue is where the stitches are and you want to allow plenty of time for those to heal. So in the early stages, what I was doing to wash was I was um, using, a, uh, using a, a sponge and I was sort of dripping the water down myself um, and just being very careful as to touching the area just to make sure I wasn't rubbing too hard and causing any, um, any chance of that glue coming off. But as soon as the glue comes off and the stitches start easing up, then you just wash as normal. Uh, just keep to an alcohol-free shampoo not shampoo body wash and you'll be fine don't use anything perfumed because uh, that could cause irritations and that was one you know one of the things which was highlighted to me what i was doing wrong um many years ago well certainly over most of my life i was using a lot of shower gels with perfumes in it and that was not helping the skin it was actually irritating the skin and causing the tears to happen more frequently so yeah any you know in terms of the washing side of things you can yeah no stick to that i think good hygiene is obviously a good thing so no one wants some um done with being hygienic so yeah thanks for watching anyway uh i will post another video in another few weeks just to provide another update and if anyone has any questions or anything they want to ask or, or raise and please do comment in comment below and i will do my best to answer all your questions and if not i'll do a video on anything raised so thanks for watching and have a lovely weekend.